Good happy Saturday evening, April 9, 2022. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this Saturday evening edition right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to, so let's get started with your Saturday evening edition of the Riley King Newscast. First up, we begin with breaking news. One man dead after Derry officer involved shooting. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Mike, authorities here on scene have not been able to confirm any information to us at this point, but what I can tell you is that Derry police have all of Old Coach Road blocked off, so nobody, not even the residents that live on that street, can get down it at this point. Now, Derry police arrived on scene sometime around 2.30 this afternoon and immediately shut down that road. About an hour ago, state police's major crime unit arrived on scene, as well as the New Hampshire Attorney General's office. Now, usually those two entities don't get involved unless it's a serious situation. As you can see, there are dozens of police cruisers blocking off the road, and police have a section of the wooded area nearby roped off with caution tape. Bypass Route 28, which intersects Old Coach Road, is still open to the public. However, there is a heavy police presence in the area, so drivers are asked to take it slow if they are driving in the area. We're going to continue working this scene, and we'll bring you any of the latest information online and on air as soon as that becomes available to us. But for now, live in Derry, Scott Cook, WMUR, News 9. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Also, um, New Hampshire AG office confirms investigation of reported officer-involved shooting. Let's take a listen to that video about the AG office. Tractor Supply helps you grow fresh vegetables in your backyard. Shop great values now through Sunday. We do have a breaking update now to the police presence in Derry we just told you about at the top of the hour. Moments ago, the Attorney General's office confirmed to WMUR that they are in the area investigating a reported officer-involved shooting. One man is dead as a result of that investig of that incident. We do know that officers involved are from Derry Police and that no officers were hurt. We, of course, will continue to follow this developing situation, and we will bring you the updates as we learn more. Okay, we will keep you updated as we get more information, everyone. Again, officer involved shooting in Derry, New Hampshire. Firefighters battle a structure fire at a Littleton treatment plant. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Right now, Littleton Fire Rescue is investigating a fire that caused around $150,000 in damages at the town's sewage treatment plant. Officials telling News 9 that crews were dispatched shortly after 8.30 last night for a fire in a structure that was housing equipment for the plant. Firefighters believe the origin of the fire in a large diesel-powered pump system. The plant is operational, and additional pumps are being brought in to replace those that were damaged. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Merrimack hit and run arrest. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. According to state police, investigators were able to determine that Jose Enrique Cruz Vasquez of Manchester was the driver behind the vehicle that struck the victim. It all started yesterday morning when the victim pulled over to help another driver who crashed in the center median on the Ever Turnpike in Merrimack. That's when authorities say the Good Samaritan was hit by Vasquez, who went onto the grass shoulder off the highway and then took off. The 59-year-old is now in Mass General Hospital. Vasquez is expected to appear in court for arraignment on Monday. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report.
Russian troops escalate attacks in eastern Ukraine. Let's take a listen to that video from ABC News. The war in Ukraine. Overnight, President Volodymyr Zelensky calling a deadly Russian missile attack on a packed train station another war crime. And Zelensky is now calling on world leaders for a firm global response to the attack that killed civilians fleeing the violence. Slovakia is sending its only S-300 surface-to-air system to Ukraine to help in the fight against Russian forces. The U.S. is replacing it with a Patriot missile system manned by U.S. service members. ABC's Terry Moran is in Lviv with the latest. Good morning to you, Terry. Good morning, Eva. Every day, Ukrainians are suffering from these awful Russian attacks, these atrocities, and they're designed to demoralize people, to terrorize them, to break their spirit. Uh, that's not happening, but there is a darkness that has settled over this land, and we want to warn our viewers that this report will contain images that are dark and disturbing. This morning, there's worldwide condemnation of Russia's latest horrific attack on Ukrainian civilians. It is a war crime. A Russian Tachka U missile slammed into a crowded train station where thousands of people were trying to flee their homes. In an instant, a hellish scene. Bodies were scattered on the ground and the remnants of a rocket with the words for the children, meaning on behalf of the children, written in Russian, this blood spattered toy left behind. At least 50 people were killed and at least 100 wounded in the city of Kramatorsk in eastern Ukraine, where Russians are set to launch a major offensive. Ukrainian officials say 4,000 people were at or near the station when the missile hit. They were heeding government warnings to leave the area in advance of the Russian assault. The New York Times reports this morning an effort to evacuate that area by bus is now underway. Here is the scene at the station just the day before, bustling with women and children. After the strike, a car engulfed in flames, a body on the ground, the horrible aftermath. Nate Mook is an aid worker with World Central Kitchen. He was near the station when the missile hit. The scene there was catastrophic. The damage was spread out uh, from the platform all the way to the outside of the station. There were many casualties that we could see, dozens of casualties. Across Ukraine, the evidence of Russian atrocities is mounting. A few hours away in Kharkiv, homes in shambles, burned cars, windows blown out. The Ukrainian military says Russian forces bombarded the city. This woman described the attack. She heard a loud noise, she says, knocking her to the ground. In Bucha, near Kiev, more bodies are being unearthed. The president of the EU commission stunned by what she sees. Here in Bucha, we saw our humanity being shattered. The EU is speeding up the process for Ukraine to become a member, saying that it could now be a matter of weeks for the country to get an initial approval. We will do everything to support Ukraine to do the necessary steps. Russia denies they are responsible for the train station attack. The Kremlin says Ukrainian forces did it. But the Pentagon isn't buying that. So our assessment is that, uh, uh, that, that this was a Russian strike uh, and that they used a short-range ballistic missile to, uh, to conduct it. President Zelensky on Instagram declared that accountability for these crimes is inevitable. Zelensky is calling for war crimes trials, although those are probably a long way away. What's coming next is this decisive battle that is shaping up in the east of the country. That's why so many people were at that train station. The government's told people, get out of there. The Russians have told people, get out of there. And the Russians have appointed a new general, one who led Russian forces in Syria in their brutal efforts there to manage this next attack, the decisive one of the war, most likely. All right, Terry Moran with those difficult images for us this morning. Well, hey there, GMA fan. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. That does it for this evening edition of the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Have a great evening. Good night and goodbye, everyone.